take four ounces of caster sugar and four ounces of butter and whisk them together. Then add in one egg and then whisk it. should start to look like this then add in another egg with a tablespoon of plain flour and whisk it together it should start looking like this Then add in another 4 ounces of plain flour along with a tablespoon of hot water and fold it all in. Then take some um, Union Jack cake cases and place them into the tin. Then pour in, I mean spoon in your mix to each case and it should look like this. Place it into a preheated oven at gas marked 4 and leave them to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. For the icing you'll need 4 ounces of icing sugar and 2 ounces of butter and whisk it all together. It should start looking like this. Once the cakes are ready, they should look like this once out of the oven and then place them onto a cooling rack so that it's easier for them to cool down. Rice in sugar and place some red food colouring in one of them and some blue food colouring in the other and mix it together. Repeat this the same. It should look like this once it's all mixed in. Then start to place it on top of each cake. You'd need about two teaspoons of icing for each. Do six of each colour if you've got 12 cakes, six of blue icing and six of red icing. And do the same with the red, another like two teaspoons for each one. Once they're all iced, they should look like and arrange them so that they're red, blue, red, blue. You can buy these decorations from Asda. They're only about a pound, two pound. And then place them on top of each cake for decoration. As you can see, it's a bus 
um, the London Eye, um, a crown and the Union Jack. And they should look like this when you've placed them all on. Um, for final decoration, take some of these toothpicks with um, a bus, um, a guard, telephone box and post box and place them in each cake like one by one you'll end up with something that looks like this in the end so you look professional um, they're very tasty just to let you know um, and please comment like subscribe and follow me on twitter